Guess where I've been. Uh, go on, surprise me. Talking with Pat Phelan. Are you not going to ask me why? Sarah, listen. He's only dished out five grand to everyone that got ripped off by Vinny. Uh, what? I know, he's mad, isn't it? Why did he do that? I don't care. Oh, darling, just think of what we can do with this money. And then Bethany's coming back next week so we can get something nice for everyone. Just... Oh. Hey, up. There's somebody who on the scratch cards. Oh, um, yeah, I'll let you tell her. I'm going to get champagne. What have you got to tell me? OK, so get this right. Pat's just given her five grand for what happened with the flats. What? So maybe you meant what he said. It really has changed. <laughs> when Bethany wouldn't see me. Why would she think her own woman push Seb? Anna must be distraught. Yeah, she is. Darling, do you want me to have a word with her? No, no, it's fine. I'll sort it out. Anyway, what's the plan for later on? Ah, for Bethany coming home. I was thinking we could do a nice little tea and then, um, Jason Statham film. <laughs> Again. <laughs> So that dressing gown has got bunny ears on the hood. Yes, don't judge. It was in the sale and I didn't realise till I got home. All right, here's me thinking that I'm going out of the softer. <laughs> uh, I'm hard as nails, me, thank you very much. Bunny ears or no bunny ears? You all right, now? Hey, David. Well, I suppose she's left some stuff at yours, has she? Maybe some pink fluffy slippers? Oh. <laughs> no, I've come to see Sarah, actually. Is she here? Uh, right, I'm going to go over and get the drinks in, so I'll see you there, yeah? All right. Yeah, it's not, uh, you know, great news. I just wanted to let you know I'm still working hard trying to get you the rest of your money back. And I'm sorry it's taken so long. Oh, no, it's fine. Um, that five grand has really helped. Good. Just wanted to keep you updated, you know, be upfront about it all. Oh, Mum's never get any rest. Well, thank you for letting me know. Okay. Um, David, we just keep an eye on that sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Nice little family you got here. Why are you still here? I was hoping to have a word in your shell, like. Got nothing to say to you. I've got lots to say to you. It's about you and my daughter. I've been the Rovers, out at the back. I don't appreciate being kept waiting. Thanks, David. Tell Sarah I'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah, will do. Thanks, mate. Seen your sister lately? Faye. I would say your sister, she's not really your sister. Are you going to get to the point or what? The lovely conversation before. She was just saying how grateful she was to me and Eileen. I thought you'd drag me out here to talk about Nicola. Apologies. I did. My PI has managed to find out where she is. <laughs> you know, have you ever thought the fact that you have to hire a private investigator to find your own daughter maybe means that she doesn't want to see you? <laughs> Oh, I know she doesn't. In fact, I'm the devil incarnate to her now. Which is why I need you. For what? I need you to convince her to come back. I need you to tell her you want to be part of her life and the baby's life. Well, she don't want to see me any more than I want to see her. Are you sure? Maybe we should seek out some impartial advice on that. Say from Sarah. Listen, if you want your little fairy tale to continue, you're going to do exactly what I say when I say it. Or your Sarah's going to find out you're nothing but a cheating rat. <laughs> <laughs> 